Good morning, YouTube. It's Ryan Clark from the African Allure Outdoors. Today is the 3rd of the 3rd, 2021. In my last video, uh, we covered the shoe selection and I'll put a link up to that uh, in the corner here, one of these corners. Uh, you can follow that tag if you want to read that. But I think the other thing that we need to maybe just cover now before we start moving into walk and stalk camouflage clothing, backpacks and all those good things is parasite control. Um, with all this rain and all this lush green vegetation, we've had a burst of uh, tick parasites. Now in South Africa, you get tick bite fever. Uh, for the more clever people, it's called rickettsia in this country. Um, we do have a few isolated uh, cases of Lyme disease like they do in North America, but they're very, very rare and they're very isolated. And uh, I heard recently, in fact, it was a couple of weeks ago that one of the guys that uh, I used to work with died from a disease called Rocky Mountain Tick Bite Fever. I stand to be corrected on that. First case ever recorded in South Africa. I believe in uh, the US and those places, it's uh, a common disease and it's very easily treatable. Obviously, it's the first thing, the first case in South Africa and it was misdiagnosed and it was totally missed. And uh, unfortunately, um, that gentleman succumbed to the disease. So condolences to him and his family. But to get back to how to manage your parasites. Um, I think the big thing is is that one can use products. If you come from America in those places, you can use products that contain DEET. Um, DEET is, uh, is a bit of a catch-22 situation because if you spray DEET onto paint, it peels paint. So I'm not really sure I'm too comfortable with putting that stuff on my skin, but uh, maybe that's just me. But uh, in South Africa, you can readily buy a product over the shelf called Baitycol. Uh, it's a wonderful product. You spray it around your ankles um, and basically just below your groin area. You can cover your legs as well. But one has got to remember with these things that when you start spraying a foreign object onto your body, you are creating a new scent. You're creating a foreign scent that now is going to have an impact on your walk and stalk hunting. Especially now, um, because we don't really have constant wind at this time of the year. The wind at the moment is, is, is pretty much swirling all the time. So the animals are going to get your wind. Um, and you can put baity coal on and you can put a wonderful project uh, such as No Scent. I'll leave the link to the description in the, the description down below. And you can check that out. But um, No Scent doesn't really cover those very powerful chemical smells of products such as no, um, Baitical. Um, so there's a couple of home remedies that I've been using for uh, a couple of years. Um, I eat garlic every single day of my life. Um, there's no ways I don't go through a day without garlic. But, uh, you know, I think some people react well to garlic. Some people don't react well to garlic. So if you're one of those smelly types, yeah, maybe it's not such a good idea. But there's another vitamin that one can buy over the shelf in your local chemist, and that is vitamin B12. Now, I've been in the safari industry since about 1993, and B12 is something that I've taken. I've advised it to tourists that take. I've lived in some very serious malarial areas, uh, such as Zambia, um, Mozambique, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Tanzania, um, Madagascar, another place as well, South Africa, a few places as well. I've had malaria a few times, pretty seriously. But vitamin B12 um, changes the chemical makeup of your, your body. Um, I'm by no means a pharmacologist, but the bugs don't like to bite you. So if you're taking vitamin B12 and the person next to you is not taking vitamin B12, they are going to get bitten not you and then as i say for me i take garlic as a just it's just something that i actually enjoy and i enjoy taking every day so so take vitamin b12 garlic and then what i would suggest as well is is that um, you use maybe peaceful sleep or tabard which is like a roll-on stick that we get in this country um, 
and what you do is you put it in areas where ticks are likely to amalgamate so at this time of year it's a good idea to walk maybe in um, long pants and what you would do is you'd want to put a, um, a line of tabard or peaceful sleep around your ankles what I would also strongly recommend is that just below your groin area put a nice thick stripe right around uh, your leg just below your groin area it must go right around both legs um, and then put a line um, both just below your belt line and one above your belt line and then on your arms you want to put it around here around there and then around your neck and the reason for that is that ticks don't like biting you where it's hard they want to bite you where it's nice and soft and tender and trust me you don't want to get those little buggers there because we have a tick in this country called a pepper tick which is a very very fine tick and it's just nasty man when that thing bites you it's horrible they don't necessarily carry tick bite fever but um, they make you scratch and itch and uh, you get red welts and that sort of thing anyway i'm starting to waffle it's nice to see you guys again uh, hopefully you'll be seeing me within the next week again I've got a warthog and a uh, impala hunt coming up for you very shortly. So please remember to like and subscribe down below. It's good to see all of you. Keep safe, be well, and all the best. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.